Was there something you needed? Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars at our local Chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. 13? That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the Order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Before coming here, my Keeper suggested I avoid Templars. Do they do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it, at times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession at the least. You've lived in the Circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a Circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's harrowing, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Do Templars and Mages never speak to each other? Some do, but Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? I wanted to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Should you require anything, I'll be here. 